Hi, you guys. This is a collective reading. It doesn't matter what sign you are. It's going to actually be um, more than likely for most of you guys. It's going to be more specific than if this were a sign specific reading because I am picking up on the energy of you guys who are viewing this video. All right. I'm specifically pointing and picking up on your energy and I'm going to be using this witch deck right now it's exactly 9 50 p.m here in texas and it's january 20th it's saturday today so let's see what messages come through in your tarot cards spirits what do the viewers of this video need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video what do they need to know okay you're actually in the right place at the right time you guys let's see what's going on okay so the very first card you have is the ace of pentacles and then you have strength leo energy The King of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. What is this? The Three of Wands in the center of your reading. And then you have the Eight of Cups. The King of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. And the Emperor, Aries Energy. You have the Hermit. This is Virgo Energy on the bottom of the deck, along with the Nine of Pentacles. I'm seeing you doing a lot of inner work right now. Um, you might be like watching inspirational videos or something. I don't know what you're doing, but you're showing up here as the hermit. Like you're doing some spiritual work on yourself here with the nine of pentacles. And it's like you're evolving, you're changing. And with this change, there's something new that's going to happen. And I feel like you don't see it yet. You have this Ace of Pentacles. So there's something new that's going to happen here. Tell me why the Ace of Pentacles is here. You've got something new coming in, and it's coming in very fast with the Eight of Wands. This is very, very fast energy coming towards you. And I'm seeing you with the Lover's Hair. This is Gemini energy. It's like you're making a choice to push, push something back or someone back. Because then you have the Seven of Wands. So you could be cutting off communication with someone or something. I don't know what it is, but um, there's something moving at you so fast and you're becoming defensive about it and you're holding back. You're resisting it. It could be love. Tell me why strength is here. You have the king of cups. Whoever, whatever this is, it's hard to resist. This energy is, is coming in. I feel like it is love. It's coming in as a king of cups. It doesn't matter what gender you are. The high priestess is here next. And you have the king of swords. 
I feel like you're going to have to choose between two people. Because I see a second energy coming into your life here. And it's like you're pushing something away. It's something that you're... That I don't see you telling either one of these people. Because you're showing up as a high priestess. Like you're keeping something... <coughs> <coughs> sorry you guys it's not like you are lying or anything like that but you're keeping one energy separate from the other energy and just not saying anything tell me why the king of swords is here Yeah, you got this charming, lovely, lovely looking person coming in. All right. And then you have the Seven of Cups here. So this could be an online presence, someone that you meet online or something that you don't realize, you know, what this is leading to. Tell me why the Seven of Cups is here. This, this person is this new energy is very charming. See, they come in like Prince Charming themselves. And you keep thinking about them. This is showing up as karma. This could be someone from your past. Alright, so... Apparently, someone from your past wants to come back into your life again. But you got two people here. And it's like you're in the process of some type of huge change. Tell me why the King of Wands is here. I'm seeing the King of Wands showing up first. For some of you, this person's already here. And do not pay attention to the gender on the cards. See, look, at you got, you got someone here trying to make up their mind with the two of pentacles about making some type of a move and whoever this is they're watching you and i see it someone that you already know here you have libra energy here with justice and you have temperance sagittarius energy and you have the ace of wands so this king of wands energy this comes in as someone who's I feel like this person can be very sexual, very attractive, very nice looking. And um, temperance is here next to justice. So this is someone that I feel like is an honest person here. I just see some like a very driven, very attractive person here right now with you or coming in very soon but you got someone from a distance here showing up too i want to find out why justice is here because this this king of wands let me let me say it like this because this might be something where you know where this helps you have a king of wands there and then you have the king of pentacles here so you got two different people you got someone that shows up as wand energy and then you have like an earth energy returning from the past someone that you already know this person right here they might struggle financially um or in some way but i feel like even with their struggles um with their life they come to you in some type of way that is healing to you they feel good tell me why the knight of pentacles is here but you got somebody here too this person is someone who wants to come walking back into your life again they may live at a distance from you um this might be a taurus virgo or a capricorn it doesn't have to be though but they're watching you 
I don't know how they're watching you, but they got their eye on you. They watch how you move, how you've changed. Um, the shadow side is here. This person's doing some work on their shadow side. So I feel like you have done a lot of work on your shadow side. Like you, like you faced, you faced your fears, and it's like you've conquered them. Why is the shadow side here? Why is the shadow side here? Yeah, see, there's someone here, this person, they may be from a different nationality than you. Um, this is someone that you already know. You have the Six of Cups here. This might be an Aquarius. The star is here. When this person walked out of your life, it created a tower moment. And on your shadow, something that you don't want to look at and you've worked on this you didn't want to look on look at this as being over this is what you've worked on this was very painful for you and i feel like you've spent time waiting for this person to return because in your shadow the things that you don't want to see about yourself or you didn't want no one else to see either is there there was this energy of waiting for this person why is the three of wands here you have the three of cups I feel like you stayed quietly waiting, but there's this energy of um, there's this energy here of, of like gossip about what this person did to create this tower, because um, it feels like everything in your life just burned away burned in the tower the nine of wands is here yeah you became very wounded over this the eight of cups is here and it, it has been and was difficult to walk away from but even though you walked away there's still love here in these cups. Tell me why the Eight of Cups is here. The Chariot Cancer Energy. You chose a new direction. The Empress. And this is Taurus Energy, but there's a lot of growth in whoever this reading's for. There is incredible growth. But the Three of Swords, the pain, and the memories are still here with you. And then I see the King of Pentacles showing up here. And then on the other side, we have an Emperor showing up over here. This past energy... I'm feeling like is your is your perfect match. Tell me why the King of Pentacles. I feel like when the two of you got together, it's like the timing was wrong. Tell me why the King of Pentacles is here. But there's some there's a new love here. There's someone that you love. And this person too, they might be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. This person loves you also see the two of pentacles is there huh. juggling your love 
Look at this person. Hey. Hey, over here. Let's let's make this work. Come back home. And then you have the five of swords. Why is the five of swords here? The sun, Leo energy. Someone wants to heal something that almost feels like it's impossible to heal. There could you could have a child with this person. Why is the five of swords here? The Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. The High Priest. There's someone here in the energy and, okay. There's someone here in the energy that, um, this person may have a child with. And there may be a commitment with this past energy. And this person, um, um, I feel like they have walked away from, from someone here. There's like an ex showing up here in their energy still. Tell me why the emperor is here. Someone has two children. The Emperor is Aries energy. I think I told you guys that. The Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Boy, there's really a lot of arguments and conflict with this person coming back into your life again. Um, This person's... They've done a lot of shadow work and stuff. But yeah, this person really wants you to see them, to recognize them. The Six of Wands is here. It's like, I'm back. I'm back home or something like that. They want to drop burdens. They want to come back home. This could have been a marriage. Let's look at the overall energy here of the reading. Because you have the Hermit and you have the Nine of Pentacles. You got someone that you haven't heard from in quite some time, I'm feeling like. That you finally made peace with this person being gone. Tell me why the Hermit is here. nine of wands so this person is coming back as a wounded warrior seven of wands yeah this person is, is um someone that could have pushed you away they could have blocked communication and now they're coming back in wanting to give you everything they got. The Ace of Cups is there. Why is the... See, you've, you've pushed yourself into calmer water. You could have moved. And you got someone behind you yelling, Hey, like there's a messenger here coming in. And I kind of get the feeling that you see this as good news. Because it's like there's, um, this is a chapter of your life that there was no closure. It didn't end right. It ended suddenly with no explanation. 
And this is your justice coming in, your truth, your closure. See, they're coming in here. The Six of Pentacles and um, Knight of Swords. They're coming in here and they want equal give and take with you. All right, you guys, let's go through all the signs and let's pick up some messages that are in the shadows. A hidden truth. Aries, what does Aries wish to say to the viewers of this video? I want to tell you how I feel. Leo, I'm sorry. Sagittarius. I love myself enough to walk away, but I can't stop thinking about you. Aquarius, it's time for me to heal now. Libra, I know we have a soul connection. Gemini, I love you and I don't react when people mention you. Pisces, I've been struggling. Cancer, I fantasize about you. Scorpio, I want to feel that way again. Taurus, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Virgo, I want to tell you so much. Capricorn, I scared myself that day. Okay. Pisces. I left when I saw you with someone. Cancer. I will wait for a sign from you. Scorpio. I wondered how far this would go. Aquarius. I remember every detail of that day. Libra. I know I messed everything up. Gemini, I am becoming a better person. Aries, I wish I had treated you better. Leo, I don't trust you. Sagittarius, I look for you everywhere, Sagittarius, and I wish I could take back my words.